Good morning, this is Chris, the old guy collector, and I thought today I'd do a two-for-one out of my PC collection. Today I will be doing the 1988 Topps Traded Set and the 1988 Topps Hand Collated Set. Um, first off, the 1988 Topps Set, I haven't seen this in a while. Uh, this is hand collated. I made it with triple packs and three boxes years ago. I had a, an in-law. The boxes were so cheap that I uh, I made I made uh, a total of three sets. I sold one. Um, this is what the set looks like. I'm going to show a few cards. Uh, let's see here. Um, I wanted to point out that, uh, the record breaker cards, as well as the, you know, what some of the cards look like. Um, this was a great set. It was, it might have been cheap, nonetheless, um, back in the day. Starting at about seventeen, fourteen dollars, it stayed like that, and then it hit forty. And now online, you could buy the set for uh, low end. You could buy it for forty. High end, you can buy it for seventy, seventy-five. Uh, this is what the record breaker cards look like. Vincent Van Gogh. Steals 100 bases, third consecutive season, St. Louis, October the 4th, 87. This is a record that will probably not be broken for a long time. Cardinals Vince Coleman tops 100 stolen bases, 09 and 87 for third straight campaign set major league record. Former mark of two consecutive seasons was set by Ricky Henderson, 82-83. These are, it's a, it, stolen bases is, is a stat that, that, they really don't do anymore. Uh, upper Decker Grand Slam of the Year. McGuire Shatter's rookie record for Circuit Blasts. I mean, it is some great, great record breaker cards onto the 88 set. The other thing the 88 set had um, were some great rookies. Uh, Kevin Seltzer, Greg Jeffries, Bruce Bocci. As a player, Sitter Nan Fernandez, Salazar, Nunez, R.J. Reynolds, Mitch Williams, Galarraga, Jim DeSage again, Land Devereaux, Swindell. The leaders cards had just the stats, not check marks of, of the player, the cards of the, of the team set, like 87. Uh, but... You know, it, Dwight Evans, home runs, had the most, 34. Runs batted in was Dwight Evans, 123. Ellis Burks had 27 stolen bases. The batting average was Boggs at 363. I mean, Clemens had the strikeouts at 256. Um, you know, it basically had just the stats of the current players, more or less, at that time. Um, the back of the of the cards were was an orange color um, in comparison to like a white border yellowish color of the 80, 88 traded um, you can get the 88 traded probably for like 40 I would say um, it depends on where you go to get it on eBay or another, uh, you could probably get it at, at, at a shop at a decent price. You just got to, you know, a shop that specializes in cards that are, you know, that old. Um, but it's a, it's a set, the 88 traded and the 88 set tops. Is our cheap sets. Um, it was the most printed set ever made in the 80s for Ober production. For it, it started the term pretty much uh, with the wax, junk wax, because 
they were so over mass produced. This is the over the most over mass produced set of the eighties that I know of that I that, that I can confirm. I don't know which set was the most overproduced set of the nineties. Uh, let's see. There's Kevin Seltzer. I'll put him up. Manningly. L Eater. Canseco. Boggs. McGuire, second year. Seltzer, first year. Um, there are no dense things or anything other than, um, what the cards look like. There, there, you can see... You know, from my my box, that it was it was kept in good condition over the years, and I, I regularly checked it check on it at least once a year just to see how the air is treating it because obviously it's not all in, in sealed sleeves. I mean, just the main stars that I decided to pick out are in main sleeves. Um. I haven't opened the 88 Tops Traded. This would be my third time opening it. So I can say specifically that, well, it's, you know, it's in good shape. Um, inside the traded boxes years ago, they, they come in cellophane, see-through clear pages. As you, you can see, that I could call that an orange-yellow color. That's what the cards look like. Um, the set had numerous stars. I'm going to pick out the main one, Jim Abbott, and maybe if I can find David Wells. Uh... It's a great set. It's a total 132 cards. The actual set is 792. The sets got bigger in 91. They split them up. Uh, Juan, Pat Borders, Bud Black, Damon Berryhill, Andy Barnes. Here's the big one of the set, Jim Abbott, number one. Buddy Bell. Tim Belcher, Don Baylor, instead of playing for the Red Sox, he's playing for the A's. You know, that name, not the wrestler, but there you go, Jose Bautista. Brett Barlow, Floyd Bannister, Don August, Jack Armstrong, Brady Anderson was a good player, Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer, rookie, Louis Elsa, and Juan Augusto. Um, you can... You can get singles from the 88 traded. You want to buy Abbott's card. You want to buy Borders. Let's see if I can find Borders. I want to find Borders card because that's it. In order to get any money and value out of the 88 sets, you have to get them uh, Tiffany, PSA 10 or PSA 9. You know, they're just not, there's no money in the sets. Unfortunate. Brett Butler, Jay Buner, rookie. Tom Bernanski, Jeff Branson, Phil Bradley. There's just no... No money, unfortunately. But, uh... I thought I'd share the set. Make recommendations to buy if you're a novice collector or a collector that wants to collect a set that's you know it's cheap to buy. An older guy, older collector like myself, and you want something that's got you know like this stuff right here. Born without a right hand, Jim won the Golden Strikes Spikes Award and Nation's Top Amateur Pitcher in '87, and Sullivan Award and Nation's Top Amateur. Athlete in 88. This way to the clubhouse. Jim was the first round pick selection by the Angels on June 1, 88, after being scouted by George Bradley. And uh, Abbott's got an 89 card 
uh, that's a rookie card. So I mean, it was a big it, it it was a big thing to have a pitcher with with just one hand. I mean, it, it was something to even watch uh, on TV where he would put the mat. He'd have the glove in his one hand. He'd pitch the ball. His his glove would be the side of his shoulder, and in his middle section. And then as soon as he pitched the ball, the the glove would go right into his hand, so he could you know possibly you know have it go at him. Um, it was just, it was incredible. It was a feat that, you know, it, it's kind of like that trivia card that I, I, I read in 88 score about the midget that played all those years ago. You know, the uh, one owner from the Cubs, or was it the, I don't know what team it was, but basically wanted to increase t ticket sales. And he had a midget literally uh, sign on it, you know, for... A few games here and there. I forget what the the guy's name was, but basically, he he played for one inning or so. They they struck him out, or you know, they took him off base because he couldn't. You know, they were afraid that he wouldn't be able to run bases fast enough. So they they basically got him on base, and then they pinch run him. He was substituted. Um, you know, it's, it's always something to see or read certain things that happen in the history of baseball, because obviously the pastime has been around longer than the NFL. Um, and I'm not mocking any sport, but truth be told, there's more history to America's pastime. It's just a matter of opinion. And for all those subscribers or future subscribers that wish to speak to the old guy collector, his handlebar is the old guy collector at YouTube. Um, if they let me, I would give you my email or even my phone number. But um, until I get enough viewership, I guess, uh, maybe that day will come. I don't know. Um, I'm also on Colix. Is that out? C O I L X, the the coin the the card uh, scanner under my sure name. If you ever want to get a hold of, uh, see what cards that I have up for sale or up for uh, as a collection card, more or less. Um, you could get th this was the first year I forgot to say. 88 tops, you could buy a factory set. 87, they had a factory set, but it was in a plain white box with a blue stamp. So technically, the colorful boxes didn't really start coming out till 88, I believe it was. Um, and these boxes are various. For the 88 traded, 86 traded, 85. They were all in colors like, like this, more or less. Not blue, but different random colors. And, and they had this insignia with a baseball and, and stuff like that, so... Look it up online, eBay, uh, your local collector shops. Maybe you might want to be interested in buying something that's under 50 bucks, more or less, at a base price. Uh, if you're looking to get any value out of it, you know, you're going to send it to PSA. They better be really good shape uh, because the value of the set is just, it's just not there, unfortunately. And it's overproduced quality card, so they take that in consideration. Everything's a factor when it comes to uh, your population of the card cards or your, you know, the fact remains. It's got to be high quality to get anything back in return or for, say, you're going to sell, sell it later on, you know. But that's it. Thank you for... Uh, Listening to the old guy. I have some stuff lined up. This is my PC collection right here. I'm going to be doing something uh, probably tomorrow or so. Maybe rip some more cards. Uh, rip some, do some something on 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 Monday. Uh, a surprise for me as well. So, thank you, thank you for uh, listening to me and my 
shenanigans.